Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Heat Ultimate Edition. Plus, and in this episode of our season, as Ryan Blaney and his number 12 Menards Ford, we're going to Phoenix Raceway for the Fan Shield 500. A stupid race name. Frickin' stupid race names. Last episode, we went to Vegas, where we finished 5th, and we ran 5th, like all race. I did crash the car trying to enter pit road, and aside from that, nothing really happened. But uh, your, your race winner at Vegas was Keselowski, battling Denny Hamlin. Uh, we had Byron at Homestead, and uh, Cindric won the Daytona 500, just like in real life. But uh, yeah, here are the standings after the first three races of the season. We got ourselves a 12-point lead over Denny Hamlin, and then I think... 14 points in front of William Byron, and 17 points in front of Martin Trex Jr. The Sam's Cola. I don't know what this is. Tastes like Coca-Cola, but not at the same time. Watch, the next shot is going to be of Ryan Blaney. Except they didn't make the, the new fire suits or something. Um, update the animations, so he's just invisible. And the pit stops are invisible. But it's like, you know what? I want to play with the 2021 content. Not just go back with the regular Heat 5 2020 content. We already did that with all the freaking Xfinity series and the truck series. This is just to make up for the fact that I never got Heat 5. Because it was Heat 4. This is Heat 4. Now we're going to have Heat 4. 4 this year. Except it's called NASCAR Rivals. As you can see, I got a custom race set up on. We're going to skip the practice, and I'll show you that setup after we run our qualifying. Let's say the only thing I changed on the setup man's video for his NASCAR Heat 5 Phoenix setup was the wheel lock, and I only did that because he said so. He said if you're on control, you should probably run like 10 or 12, not 8. So I put it on 11. <laughs> It's like, oh, if it's 10 or 12, let's go to 11. And about 0.4 seconds off pole time. But we're starting 11th at the moment, so that's on the inside. Oh my gosh, all these white numbers. What is with the Cup Series and white numbers? I swear they got that fucked up. Denny Hamlin and William Byron, our championship competitors, are starting on the front row. But yeah, let's take a look at the setup man's setup. Also, we are in 10th now, so I have to start on the outside. I don't want to do that. Okay, so, yeah, there you go. So you got your 5533-5444, five, five, three, three, five, four, 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 and then this stuff is that, and, and that, and I feel like I'm exploiting his setup by using it and showing it, but I do reference that it is his, but now you're not inclined to just go to his video. Let's get back out and get into the race. But like, should I have never done it like that in the first place? Should I have just said which setup I was using, and then if people wanted to use it, they go to that video? I don't freaking know. At some points, people ask me why I'm doing so well whenever I'm not using the setup. And that's just because I'm good at driving, and you're fucking not. I don't know. Like, I, there was just like the Charlotte race where I was leading, and I was just running the basic default setup. I'm like... I, I don't know, I just drive. And I've been playing NASCAR games since... Since... 2002. I've been playing NASCAR games on like a weekly basis at the very least since 2002. And then whenever summer came around, oh my god, I was just driving and driving. It wasn't even NASCAR games, there was Gran Turismo, there was this dirt racing game that I played on the channel called... Saturday Night Speedway. See, so now that I mentioned that I have to put a logo of that in the video, and that's going to be a pain in the ass, because whenever I needed the logo for the Let's Play, I spent like 30 minutes cutting it off of the, the game cover. Ugh, we're going to clear out Marola. And Austin Dillon. And then Austin Dillon's going to keep on putting up this fight. Come on. Whoa, whoa, we shifted into fourth gear in the middle of the straightaway. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't practice with the setup. I just put it in there and trusted the guy. 
apparently we're spending a lot of time in third gear. Austin Dill didn't wreck from that, but I'm getting impatient trying to race him back and forth. We're probably supposed to be in fourth gear the entire time. But you know, I've never bothered using manual transmission in NASCAR games. That is so weird. I am falling back. Probably because of how I'm driving, but god damn it, that is so weird. It's like the car stops in the middle of the straightaway to shift gears. I'm led to believe that I should never be shifting, but then I'd probably just have to turn that off. Yeah, I could do that. What the shit? How do you fucking... I don't know. I'm not allowed to freaking turn off the automatic transmission in the middle of the race, so I have to sit here and drive garbage until we get back to Phoenix again later this season. At the very end of the season, mind you. Okay, there's a caution. Uh, everyone's pitting. I got a second of damage from popping the wall a while ago, I guess. Yeah, we'll just pit with them. Get fresh tires and all that. Uh, looks like I need one can. I lost 11 spots. Dude, I don't even know why. I don't know what it is that they did. Uh, maybe they're like deciding to keep their track position. But I got fresher tires now. I don't know if it means anything if I got fresher tires if I'm not allowed to turn off automatic transmission. Usually, the driver itself with automatic transmission is smart enough to not put the car in a gear it doesn't belong in. In this case, he should not ever be going to fourth gear, which is weird, and not be shifting down into second because this is not goddamn New Hampshire. <laughs> I mean, it drives like it. That don't mean you ever do that at Phoenix. Why is Joey Gase in the top three? What just happened? These are the spots that we're losing. You know, we have five laps left in the stage, and you know, we got these wicked fresh tires. We're making moves. Y'all stupid. Not JJ tires. Y'all stupid. Y'all holding up the leader, some of you guys that just decided to not even take pit stops, I guess. Okay. So yeah, it was just third gear. And now Kyle Larson's getting a little crossover. We got Chris Busher. And Ryan Newman running one and two. Damn. Making this team wish that Keslowski never went on to freaking buy out like half of it or whatever. Or maybe a third of it. I don't know. I feel like there's three people involved with the ownership of this company now. Dude, I can't get it to enter turn three or whatever. I didn't freaking numbers. Yeah, this is turn three now. Like, I can't... It, I hit the brakes and then I whip it into the inside wall almost. Don't wreck Newman. Oh my god, JC. Ugh. Ah! Larson. Car. God damn. Can't get it to, to rotate off the freaking corner. Also very difficult to, to enter a corner. It just feels wonky now. I feel way easier to drive this track in the Xfinity series. I don't feel like these cars should be that different. Ugh, whoa, well, oh my god, they're just stopping right here. I mean, maybe that's why I can't exit the corners, because I have such better entry. And I could have won that stage. Instead, I get second. I don't feel like I'm driving that good. But at the same time, this, this car is something else. I gotta fuck up this setup whenever we make the Final Four. I don't know if we're going to win the, the playoff junk, but I I just don't want the car to drive like this and sound like this and feel this way. Uh, but I'm going to leave it all the same because we are in contention to win. That's the end of the first stage. Yeah, just the first stage. Usually it's the end of the second stage by now. I got a second of damage again. Yeah, we're going to get four tires. Now they're probably getting four tires. And we'll get one can of fuel. Yeah, so we just lost two spots. I'm guessing Hamlin and Elliot. Maybe they only got right sides? After getting tires last stop? I have no idea. The second stage is 25 laps. Damn it, Elliot. Oh my god. Elliot, what are you doing? What the hell was that? I had to back off. I was going to run him over. It gets tight in the dumbest way. Like, I'm not even going that fast off the corner. It's heading towards the wall. Okay, I wish I could have this entry to 
turn three every time. Nice to see the, the right competitors up front with this game and their ratings. I think they did the same thing with... Good God, Elliot, you suck. Why is it getting tight in the center? Like, I, I let off, hit the brakes and stuff, and it's still just going up the track. I don't know what I've done wrong. God, the way the car just bounces and jerks itself off. God damn. Like, are you seeing it wobble whenever I drive onto the dog leg? Like, is it hitting the, the pavement? I don't know. Oh, I was about to enter turn three, and then there's a caution. You know, we're keeping up. Whenever I'm in the zone, and Bubba got up to fourth. I mean, I guess he was already up here. I'm just now realizing he's having a good run. Uh... No one's taking a pit stop under this caution. Okay. I don't want to lose my track position. I can have a great restart. Thing is, it takes a, a few laps for the restart to play out. You need to actually get away. I always get caught up in someone's mess. And we got 17 laps to go. We're going to duck underneath Kyle Larson. Yep. That is the kind of restart I'm used to having. We ain't been having those since we started the Cup Series. Denny. Really Denny. They love, they love poking their noses in there. Like, I can't just drive the track like a professional NASCAR driver. They gotta poke their noses in there and try to make a pass whenever... I'm, I'm gonna do the same thing every freaking time. I might as well just drive the track passively, not, not be aggressive. We're still not pitting under the caution. Yeah, that was freaking awful. And I just, I can't drive this track the way I like driving it with this setup. I need to just not use this setup. Like, it does so many things not the way that I like, that I have grown into Phoenix with. Like, I'm pretty sure whenever I played NASCAR Heat 4, I was definitely using something by Knee Pit Gaming at Phoenix. And then I started seeing videos from the setup man for Heat 5, and I just kind of pick one. I should stop doing that or just stick with Knee Pit Gaming setups. But for all I know, he might have done the same thing. Ugh! We are coming to like nine laps to go in the stage, I think. Yeah. Now, I would drive it onto the dog leg like usual, but since they're all up here and I'm in the pack, I stay behind them and use the draft. It does rotate fine off of turn two, but it gets tight every time in turn one. And then, turn three, because the car has no looseness to it, it, uh, it, it's hard to actually get it to whip towards the wall without hitting the wall. It's just not a loose car. It has no looseness to it. I could take out some wedge. I might resent that. It's the decision I'm making for the entire final stage of the race. Okay, yeah, we're coming back up on them. Whenever you get there, you just got to use them up, to be honest. Ugh. See, the, the, the day I don't shift like that. Why do you people keep spinning into the corner? Like, stop. Freaking Denny Hamlin keeps on sticking his nose underneath me. I don't even know where I belong in this race. Like, I can't be consistent with this car. It's, it's not a comfortable car to drive. It does things weird. And I'm not allowed to put it in manual transmission, which I don't do because it's a goddamn game where I just drive around in circles. Denny Hamlin's pitting? Why is Denny Hamlin pitting? Who's pitting? I don't know. Just, just Hamlin. What? Why? For what? The tires are shot. And the fuel comes just to the end and oh my god dude fuck this car 
Yeah, let's go ahead and lose another fucking spot just for the end. It just fell off completely, like in those last few laps. And it's tight. It's just tight the entire time. I can't throw the thing around. I, I'm, I, I, I don't, I don't like this this setup. I, re I really don't. It's competitive, but I still don't like it. It's I don't like to drive it. I'm gonna take a whole round of wedge out of it. I might regret that. I probably should have gone with half a round. Yeah, let's do half a round instead. Uh, yeah, r repair the damage and get the tires. And we have to do a, a full two cans right there. And we'll just lose two spots. So we're still on the inside. Bubba Wallace is just having a good old little run for 23XI. This would actually be like their, their first season because we're still in 2021. Yeah, they wish they had started this well. I mean, they got a win in their first season. But aside from that, they didn't really put up. They're actually having a much better season in 2022. It just took a while for that to fire off. But yeah, they got two cars in their second season. Kurt Busch wins, but then he gets a concussion. So that kind of derailed that. But Bub Wallace went on a good streak of getting top tens, top fives. Okay, I can feel it a bit looser. Don't know if it's loose enough. Whenever I take out that wedge, that's all about entering the corner. I wouldn't say that it does much to the exit of the corner. That has more to do with if I'm going the appropriate speed as I go through the center. No, don't have one inside. I passed you. Give the fuck up. Where the hell did Austin Dillon come from? I thought I was passing Lagana. Shut up! Stop it inside! No. Well, we're so good early on. But like, damn, this thing falls off fast. Or I wouldn't say it falls off fast. It's just bad whenever it falls off. Usually the cars, they get tied or they get loose. But this one... Ugh. It, it's not something that I adapt to the same way. I had a hard time driving the car as it is. Did Chase Elliott just get loose again? I don't know. They, they all get loose into the corner just because I bumped into him in the street. These freaking shifts, though. These these random shifts in the street. Okay. Guess we're racing Austin Dillon. I mean, we're racing, but I feel like there's so many damn restarts and... and green white checkers for the stage and and restarts and <laughs> it just feels like we're doing the same thing over and over again it feels like one of the texas all-star races where they just restart it over and over and over again i am gonna push austin dillon to the lead <laughs> oh poor kyle larson being subjected to something he probably doesn't deserve okay use this as an opportunity well i i was gonna take the corner awesome and I did not I was gonna take that as an opportunity to get underneath Kyle Larson okay, don't throw it into the inside wall and we're racing Larson Austin Dillon is just freaking gone why is this guy so fast he was this fast at Vegas he just didn't he ran out of time by the time his, his car came on for him because it was Keselowski that was fast all race long. Suddenly Austin Dillon was fast, but it was too late. It won't stop bouncing around! Fuck, man! It bounces around. It wiggle waggles. And I don't like it. Oh my god. I was working on Austin Dillon that entire run. Like I said, and caution in a restart, a little green white checkered, and whoop de doo. And uh, we got 14 laps to go. Everyone's got to take a pit stop, and then we'll be good to the end. I'm going to fix that two seconds of damage. I'm going to get those four tires because none of them will survive it 14 laps or 10 laps, whatever it's going to be after the caution. And uh, we just need one can. So I lost 17 spots. Well, I feel like a bunch of these guys got a pit. Then there's no way that, that they'll be able to make it in without blowing a tire. We have great restart speed. And it looks like it will be 11 laps to go. 
Yes. So we should be able to get up to like, I don't know, 12th within the first lap. Just have to wait and see. Uh, get under Newman. They have that little check up in the center of the corner. You know how their AI are programmed. Well, I said we'd be able to get up to 12th, but... Uh, close enough with almost 14th. I'm trying to use that side draft at this speedway short track thing that Phoenix is. This amoeba speedway. Yeah, go ahead. Just shove it into second gear. Cole Custer is having a 12th place run. That is his entire career in good equipment. But honestly, I feel like 12th place in 2021 is uh, really good for Stuart Haas. Because that didn't happen in reality. Now I'm almost into 12th. I was expecting to do that within like the first damn lap. So Austin Dillon is leading this thing and I just lost a bunch of track position taking the pit stop that was necessary. I mean, maybe I could have just not fixed the damage because I was still keeping up with... Jeez, what the fuck is wrong with me? I was keeping up with Austin Dillon with that damage. I don't know, two seconds can lose you like four or five spots for all I know. I mean, in this game's math, it doesn't actually show you the pit stops. You don't know how it actually happens. I wish they didn't do that. You could watch the pit stops and stuff under the cautions. They have this big run into turn three. It just gets so freaking tight, whatever. It shifts into fourth gear no matter what. It'll shift into fourth gear whether I let it go in there, or if I let off the gas, it'll still go into fourth gear. It's so weird. Yeah, Bubba Wallace having a top 10 run. Look at me trying to ruin it. What a friend Ryan Blaney is right now. I gotta say, it does feel kind of iconic like it did back in the day whenever I was a kid. Some of these nostalgic paint schemes I would see. Having this yellow Blaney car, red Bubba car, uh, rainbow Byron car, and then, you know, the Truex Bass Pro Shops, Kyle Larson's Hendrick cars car like all of these they start to feel kind of the same way that old paint schemes did like Labonte's green car and Stewart's orange car but uh, no we already took our pit stop I don't know what the caution was for but that gave us track position at a restart and that is what we need to win this race don't know if that's what's gonna happen because we're gonna have three laps to go at this restart and I somehow managed to always throw away the lead whether it's for a stage or something in this race. Okay, got her nose underneath Kyle Larson. Never made contact with him, but he did have a freaking spaz attack. Oh, but no, you can't say that now. That that word is considered a slur. Fucking idiots come up with this shit. All right. And we got one on the inside. Yeah, they always make that crossover move and it prevents you from diving onto the dog leg. Damn. I got loose because of the freaking gear shift. I can't turn it off. We just don't use fourth gear. We're not supposed to. Just to max out the rev limiter and just stay in third gear. So weird, dude. They do not do that at this track in reality. So I don't know why I would set up the card do that here. But we're going for the lead on Austin Dillon. Coming to the white flag. He's going to beat me to the line. Okay, I'm going to let off early. Let it roll into the corner. Ugh, got on the gas too early again. But, I mean, I've got the advantage going into turn three. Are we finally going to win a race? I thought it would take a lot longer than this, to be honest. God damn it, man. I could never tell what the cars do. Is if it's going to turn or if it's not going to turn. But we are going to win our first race of the season. With a car that was fast, but drove very weird. Very weird car that it drove. Yeah, I'm going to turn to the left and then do a burnout, but the car is never going to actually turn left. It went right the whole time. Now we're going left. Yeah, I'm just holding it down and going left. Apparently, I'm going 200 miles an hour right now. Well, here are the race results. Truex got around Austin Dillon in that final corner. Kyle Arson won both the stages. I guess. I don't remember anybody else being up there. Uh, we'll see if we got any DNFs at the bottom. Kevin Harvick, 23rd. Okay, now it's starting to feel like 2021. 
Any DNFs? Any at all? Oh, Timmy Hill. Like, eight laps into the race. And here are the point standings after that one. We have a 30-point lead over Truex. And then a 31-point lead over Denny Hamlin. But, yeah, we're in victory lane for the first time in the series. We got a photographer. And, well, there's nobody else here. If any of these menial, meaningless cosmetic and, and sound things are not fixed in NASCAR Rivals, then I'm going to start kind of being disappointed. With this one, I don't really give a crap because it really was just like a, a port of Heat 5 throwing some extra content and uh, they were more focused on the broken ignition. But with Rivals, there shouldn't be anything broken because they had time to fix the stuff from here and then just add some more stuff. And fix anything that was broken by adding all that content. All the, the graphic changes of NASCAR Rivals. But I'll see you guys next time whenever we go to Atlanta for the Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500. Atlanta has been easy so many times since Heat 4. And I don't know why. But hopefully it's not. It probably will be though. See you next time. That's that. And episode over.